celebration in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. By the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Good morning to you all. Amen. And we joy and welcome you to this Mass. On this day, we are requested to pray for Gary and Garland, Jenny and Sam. And we continue to pray for each and every one of you that your heart desires, your intentions may find purpose before God through Christ our Lord. Amen. My brothers and sisters, we are sinners in need of God's grace. Let us therefore take a moment to recall the times we have failed God and man, to be sorry for those times, and humbly ask God for his pardon and peace. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to one another and to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have mercy. Lord Jesus, you heal the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with your Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may the Almighty God have mercy on us. May he forgive us our sins and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Convert us, O God our Savior, and instruct our lives by heavenly teaching, that we may benefit from the works of Lent through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A proclamation from the book of Leviticus. The Lord said to Moses, Speak to the whole assembly of the children of Israel and tell them, Be holy, for I, the Lord your God, am holy. You shall not steal, you shall not lie or speak falsely to one another, you shall not swear falsely by my name, thus profaning the name of your God. I am the Lord. You shall not defraud or rob your neighbor. You shall not withhold overnight the wages of your day labor. You shall not curse the deaf or put a stumbling block in front of the blind, but you shall fear your God. I am the Lord. You shall not act dishonestly in rendering judgment. You shall neither partially to the weak nor deference to the mighty, but judge your fellow men justly. You shall not go. You shall not go about spreading, spreading slander among your kin. Nor shall you stand idly by your neighbor's life, it, while your neighbor's life is at stake. I am the Lord. You shall not bear hatred for your brother in your heart, though you may have to reprove him. Do not incur sin because of him. Take no revenge and cherish no grudge against your fellow countrymen. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. I am the Lord. The word of the Lord. <laughs> Responsorial psalm. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. The Lord, the law of the Lord is perfect refreshing the soul. The decree of the Lord is trustworthy, giving wisdom to the simple. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. The precepts of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The command of the Lord is clear, enlightening the eyes. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. The fear of the Lord is pure, enduring forever. The ordinances of the Lord are true. All of them are just. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. Let the words of my mouth and the thought of my heart find favor before you, O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. Praise and honor to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Praise and honor to you, Lord 
Jesus Christ. Behold, now is a very acceptable time, and behold, now is the day of salvation. Praise, Praise and honor to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory Glory to Jesus said to his disciples, When the Son of Man comes in his glory, and all the angels with him, he will sit upon his glorious throne, and all the nations will be assembled before him. And he will separate them from one another, as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. He will place the sheep on his right, and the goats on his left. Then the king will say to those on his right, Come, you who are blessed by my Father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of this world. For I was hungry, and you gave me food. I was thirsty, and you gave me bread. A stranger, and you welcomed me. Naked, and you clothed me. Ill, and you cared for me. In prison, and you visited me. Then the righteous will answer him and say, Lord, when do we see you hungry and feed you, or thirsty and give you drink? When do we see you a stranger and welcome you, or naked and clothe you? When do we see you ill or in prison and visit you? And the king will say to them who reply, Amen, I say to you, whatever you did for one of these least brothers of mine, you did for me. Then he will say that those who live his way, Depart from me, you accursed, into the eternal fire prepared for the devil and his angels. For I was hungry, and you gave me no food. I was thirsty, and you gave me no drink. A stranger, and you gave me no welcome. Naked, and you gave me no clothing. Ill and in prison, and you did not care for me. Then they will answer and say, Lord, when did we see you hungry or thirsty, or a stranger, or naked? or ill, or in prison, and not minister to your needs. He will answer them, Amen, I say to you, what you did not do in one of these least ones, you did not do for me. And these will go off to the eternal punishment, but the righteous to eternal life. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. What is your so I guess out of my mind, I'm going to make a lot of mistakes. Um, whoever went to the dry room and removed the altar cloth there and removed the candlesticks, after this mass, go back and put it before I do adoration. It is wrong. It is wrong. Whoever you are, it is wrong. This is not an altar. This is a tabernacle. And as a tabernacle light by it, you shouldn't have candles by each side. So if I remove this on my own to put it there for our adoration, and you have felt the priest doesn't know what he's doing, you are the best and you know it all, it is wrong. And I think in the church, before anybody does or moves anything in the church, you should seek for the approval of the priest before he or she does it. Please, I am begging. I'm saying this now so it doesn't happen again. That is our adoration room for now. And if I reposed on Saturday and left that thing, and left the, um, the candles and left the altar cloth there, it is for a reason, because it is sacred. So for you to have tampered with it on its own is wrong. The person may be here, may not be here, but I just want us to communicate to one another. Please, there are things that there is a way things are done in the house of God. Amen? Amen. But don't be, don't be frightened. We need to teach each other at the time so that we know what to do. Amen? Amen. Today the Lord talks about what is good and what is wrong. How we are to, re to relate with one another. It's not solely about God. The Lord today in Leviticus, where we read this morning, said to Moses, Go! Tell the people of Israel, 
This is what they should do. Now to show us the stamp of the Lord, when the Lord stamps his words, I the Lord, it is the Lord. There are so many ways, thus says the Lord. When the Lord wants to imprint something and call our attention to something that is serious, the Lord has said, thus says the Lord, for I the Lord have said. Today, we, we saw that in the first reading a couple of times, more than four times, between five and six or seven times in the first reading. And the Lord tells us, my brothers and sisters, as we prepare, as we make ourselves holy, as we sacrifice to the Lord, let us remember that our sacrifices must be accompanied by good works. St. James reminds us, he says, look, in chapter number 2, show me your faith, and I will show you mine with my good works. And there is no way you can know what is in somebody's heart, except when the person acts or speaks. Am I right? So, today the Lord wants us, and everything the Lord talked about in the first reading, and even in the gospel, is about the externals. You should not lie. If you do not talk, you will not lie. Am I right? It's only when you talk, you lie. You should not steal. If you don't take something that does not belong to you, you have not stolen. So there must be a movement <coughs> proceeding from you and coming out. So the Lord tells us today to, to try to reach out to others, but to reach out to them for good. Do not hold back the wages of the labor who has worked for you. Sometimes we we'll find it very difficult. There are so many ways, and let me, let me say this, there are so many ways, my brothers and sisters, through which wages are paid. It is not only paid with money. Do you understand? A common thank you is a good wage. But many of us do not understand. When was the last time you were grateful? You said thank you to somebody who did something good. Probably not to you or for you, but for the good of the community, or to reach out to someone. But today, Imagine Jesus saying, do you? Now probably, for the times you showed somebody, that you showed him the heads of Jesus. That's what he said today. Cindy, probably for the times you were generous to someone out there, that you were giving it directly to Jesus. Great. Now for the times you looked at someone and he said, thank God, you are thanking God directly for that person. And you are thanking God directly for his actions. He says, he, when, when, when you give to anyone, you are giving to me. I wish this reading came up yesterday. And I would have told, Frank, many of you are here, those who gave, who gave in the bottles last week and this week for the, for the feeding of the babies and the provision of other things for them. And I want you to remember this reading today. And I want you to say to yourself, thank God. Lord, thank you for living in me. And thank you for helping me reach out to you. We might think that we are helping the babies out there in Baytown, out there in Houston, probably somewhere around the world. My brothers and sisters, Jesus assured us today, sister. He says, when you do that, you are doing it directly to me. You are not indirectly, but directly to me. That when you speak of good about another person, you are speaking good of Jesus. And you are telling him directly, when you give a cup of water, you are giving it to Jesus. When you walk out, walk on your own to walk out something that will be good, that will be beneficial to the community, you are doing it directly to Jesus. And that is what he wants us to understand today, that reaching out, you are not reaching out to another, but you are reaching out to God. Remember. The word of God said, in his own image and likeness, he created them, men and women. In his own image and likeness. And he breathed what? Life into what he has created. How often do we relate with one another as if we are relating with God? Or understanding that we are relating with God? How often do we lie? Now for some of us, it has become a part of us. And some people tell you, well, Father, I can't, it, it just flows, I don't know when I do it. You have to be conscious now to know when you do it. You have to ask yourself, 
what will I sacrifice at this time? Do you steal? Do you bear false witness? Do you not encourage others? Do you run others down? Is everything about you pretense and hypocrisy? Jesus is asking us today, reminding us, we are beginning, or we have begun our fast. Ask yourself, what will I include in my fast? What is it I actually need to fast from? Many of us are weak at prayers. That when it, when it comes to time for prayer, there is always that weakness. And there must be a reason why I cannot pray. Or why I should not. Oh, I want to sleep well. Oh, I want to eat well. Oh, I just finished eating. I need to rest. Why don't you say, I just finished praying and I need to pray more? Do we always have, does it strike us, my brothers and sisters, that we do not often have more reasons to pray, but we have more reasons to do some other things? So, more reasons to be away from God. But today, Jesus is reminding us, my brothers and sisters, to break those barriers. To reach out to the orphans and to the widows. Not to marginalize people. Not to set barriers. But to look at ourselves and, and ask ourselves, how can I grow in wisdom? How can I grow in holiness? That is the sole what? The sole objective of what? Of Lent. To grow in holiness. Are you growing in holiness? Do you seek the face of God? The, the responsory of Psalm, Psalm 19. Your words, God, are spirit and they are life. If the word of God is spirit and life, imagine what it means when you are in the presence of the same God himself. We pray, my brothers and sisters, that we continually and constantly seek the face of God, that he may give us joy, that he may revive us and strengthen us, that our resolutions may be acceptable to God through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 In the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Let us break our needs and our joys before God, asking for His help. For our Holy Father, our Spirit and Jesus, and all who labor to build up the body of Christ, may they be strengthened to carry the cross of leadership. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For our national, state, and local leaders, may they carry their cross of service with boldness and understanding. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For this community, may we faithfully carry the cross of our care for others. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For those who carry the burden of illness, aging, neglect, or abuse, may we give them the help they need to carry their cross. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those serving time in prison, may we help them carry their cross to make better future decisions. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the victims of racial and religious persecution, violence, and war, may their crosses be turned into sources of rescue and relief. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, may the crosses they have carried in this life become crowns of glory and eternal life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For your own personal integrity. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. God our Father, in your mercy, listen in love to the prayers of your children. Lord, do not look upon our sins, but look upon your love and mercy on us. Help us that we may be strong in worshiping you and in reaching out to others. Bless and bring healing to the weary souls. Bring healing to the sick. Bring your wisdom to the confused. Lord, help us to say no, help us to say no to sin and dispel our weaknesses. May we rise up in strength to do your will. Grant more than we ask you in faith. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this bread to offer, which earth has given a human hands have made. 
May it become for us our bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands. May be come for us our spiritual bread. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with a humble and a contrite heart. May the Lord wash our mind in the forgiveness of the sins of all of our sins. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May this devout oblation be acceptable to you, O Lord, that by your power it may sanctify our manner of life and gain for us your conciliation and pardon through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. Amen. For by your gracious gift each year, you are faithful and await the sacred Pascal feast with the joy of Christ made you, so that more eagerly intent on prayer and on the works of charity and participating in the mysteries by which they have been reborn, they may be led to the fullness of grace that you bestow on your sons and daughters. And so, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we are claimed. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the power of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like a new form, so that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks, he broke it gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, 
and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Daniel our Archbishop, Charles his auxiliary, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died, who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, our spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and Saints, St. Paul, St. Augustine, St. Ignatius, St. Peter, St. Jerome, St. Jude, St. Ephraim, St. Lawrence, St. Timothy, St. Titus, St. Christopher, St. Elizabeth, St. Veronica, St. Cecilia, St. Anne Bobre, St. Josephine Bakita, St. Monica, St. Agatha, St. Lucy, St. Martha, St. Anne, St. Patricia, and all the saints who have placed you throughout the ages, we may merit to the good earth to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teachings, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from our distress, as we are with the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, he said to you, Apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. But the peace and joy of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. Now let us share. Sign of peace. The Lamb of God, may your word is sent to the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, may your word is sent to the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take your word as the of the world, and it's your streets. <laughs> My brothers and sisters, behold him who lives in each and every one of us. And he is asking us to reach out to him in others. He is Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God. He takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those of us called to this servant of the Lamb. The body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring us to eternal life. Amen.
Amen. I said to you, whatever you did for one of the least of my brethren, you did it for me, says the Lord. Come, you blessed of my father, receive the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. Let us pray. We pray, O oh Lord, that in receiving your sacrament, we may experience health in mind and body, so that kept safe in both, we may glory in the fullness of heavenly healing through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go in peace, love, and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Do have a great day and a fruitful week. Thank you. Destiny, Celeste, pick up these two candlesticks and take them to the, to the altar uh, there in the cry room. Now. Our official hymn is number 345.